and welcome to Excellence Academy. All right, so let's take a fifth and sixth example on differentiation. All right, so case one, um, let's start with this. For this case, I have y being equal to 3 to the power x here, and I'm asked to differentiate this. What do I do? Um, the first thing here is to take log of both sides. So I'll take log, I'll take log of both sides. If I take log of this, it becomes log y being equal to take log of this of this one here becomes log 3 to the power x right now use the concept of implicit differentiation if i use the concept of implicit differentiation if i differentiate uh okay before then before the uh, implicit if i'm taking this that means the part here comes this way so i'll have that log y means that log y is equal to the part here comes this way becomes x log 3 so i have this all right at this point here i will use the idea of implicit differentiation for implicit now i will call before that i'll call this u i'm using implicit here i'm using product root here so i'll say for this product root side i'll say let u be equal to what i have here x if i differentiate the u all over the x is equal to one if i differentiate x i get one Next up, this becomes V. So let V be equal to what I have here. That's log 3. Differentiate V here. I'll have that the V all over the X here is equal to. Observe, there's no X term here. Log 3 is a constant term. So if I differentiate log 3, I'll get 0. 0 because there's no X here. That's case 1. Case 2, log 3. If you punch log 3, it's giving a value. That means log 3 is actually a constant term. So hence, u is x. If I differentiate x, d over the x gives you 1. v is what you have here, log 3. The d over the x of a constant term gives you 0. Alright. So hence, I'll now combine the idea of implicit and product true. If I differentiate log y, I get 1 over y is equal to. Uh, Differentiate this using production. We have v, v is log 3. It gives you v log 3 into du over the x. du the x is 1 plus u. u is x. Next up, du over the x is 0. So this is simply production here. Yeah? v is du over the x plus u, du over the x. I'm having this. Um, before then, it's supposed to put dy over the x here. Yep. This is supposed to be a dy over the x here. That's implicit rule. If I differentiate log y, it gives you 1 over y dy over the x. It's supposed to be included here. Alright, so multiply through by y. Multiply by y. So y goes this way. I'm having that. Um, dy all over the x is equal to uh, before multiplying by y let's simplify this so it gives you y into log 3 times 1 gives you log 3 plus x times 0 gives you 0 so i'm having this so it becomes y times this okay so i have that dy all over the x is equal to it gives you y into log 3 because y times 0 is 0 is off but but we said that y is equal to 3 to the power x. Yeah? So that means that dy all over dx is equal to y. That's 3 to the power x. Next up, log 3. So it gives you log 3. So this is your answer after differentiating this step here. Next up, come to this. For this case here, um, this is log of all of this. So for this case, it becomes a problem on chain rule, okay? So I will use a single alphabet to represent all of this. So I will say, let u be equal to everything here. That's exponential 4x minus 2x, okay? Differentiating u with respect to x, I have that du over dx is equal to, this one gives you, um, 4 exponential 4x minus differentiate 2x you get 
2. So we're having this one here. So that means that y, which was equal to originally, y was equal to um, log of all of this. So it becomes log. I should have written this, this one here. That's exponential 4x minus 2x. But we just said that all of this, that's exponential 4x minus 2x, should be equal to u. So hence, y being equal to log, all of this is now u. So I'll have that y is equal to log u. So u is what you have here. Next up, I'll differentiate y with respect to u. So I'll have that dy all over du is equal to, if I differentiate log u, I get 1 all over u. So at this point now, using chain rule, using chain rule, from chain rule, we said that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du all over dx. So this is now equal to dy over du, as we have it is this, that's 1 over u times du over dx. du over dx is this, that gives you 4 exponential 4x minus 2. If I multiply this now, 1 times this is itself, that's 4 exponential 4x minus 2 all over, of course, u, you is your denominator. But, but u, we said is equal to this, that's exponential 4x um, minus 2x. So it means that dy over dx is now equal to this. 4 exponential 4x minus 2 all over u, which is now this exponential 4x minus 2x. So this now becomes the answer. If you see choose, you could factorize this with 2 and then, okay? So let me go with this. If I factorize 2 here, divide here by 2, I'll still get 2. So it gives you 2 here. Divide this by 2, gives you. 1. So I'm having 2. This is like a factorized answer. Or you could bring the 2 over here, but for space sake, I'll leave it this way. Okay, we'll bring the 2 over here. Stay correct. Of course, you can also use my shortcut of logarithmic differentiation, which has already been treated in previous classes, which the idea was simply differentiate this and then repeat this as a denominator and get the same answer. Okay, so let's take a seventh, seventh example. For my seventh example, um, let's say I have x bar y being equal to this, and max will find dy bar dx here. That's differentiate this with respect to x. Um, what do I do here? So the first task is this I'm having paths here. So I'll, I would um, take the log of both sides. Okay? So I'll take logs. I'll take log of both sides. If I take log of both sides, I'll have that log x over y is equal to log exponential x minus y. Alright, so for this case, now what happens next is this. Don't forget all of this or this is a power here. Alright, so all of this forms the power of the exponential term here. Alright, so the next step will be this. We said when you take the log of, an of a term, the part there or the index comes over um, this way or this way. Hence, my, my part here comes over this way. So it gives you y log x is equal to the part comes down this way, gives you x minus y. I'm left with log e. Um, log e here in this case is equal to 1. So note this. Note that log of an exponential term is equal to 1. Uh, very important you know this. Okay, so next up, if I work on this now, I'll have that y log x is equal to x minus y times this is 1. And perhaps let me let me tell you why this is 1. Um, usually, in differentiation, we said if you have y being equal to log x, that dy all over dx is equal to 1 all over x. Also, if you have y being equal to mean x, 
dy over dx is equal to 1 over x. So when it comes to when it comes to differentiation, um, the answer or the result of differentiating log x and lin x are usually the same. So most times log x and lin x are used interchangeably. But well, we know that lin x is equal to log x to e here, yeah? to this e. This is called the natural log of um, the natural log of x. So hence, I could say that if I have log e, for instance, this would be equal to uh, perhaps approximately in um, value to lean exponential. I will just say lean exponential. Lean is log exponential to this exponential. From the laws of indices, we said the log of a number to its base. When the number here and the base are the same, it gives you 1. So this is the idea from which we got this up. All right, so that's um, like the idea why log e is equal to 1. That's your concept. All right, let's proceed with what we had. All right, so if I work on this now, um, so this log e is 1, so times 1 is itself. So I'm having this. Next up, um, if I take off this bracket, I'll have that y is equal to uh, y log x is I'll have y log x y log x is equal to x minus y I can see y here I can see y here so if I collect like this if I collect like this I'll have that y log x here's minus y comes over becomes plus y if I move minus y over here becomes plus y equal to I've left x I could choose to, I'm seeing y here, I'm seeing y here, I could choose to factorize y. If I factorize y, if I bring y outside here, I'm left with log x plus 1 is equal to x, such that y here is now equal to x all over log x plus 1. So I'm having this uh, as y. Let's get y over the x. To get y over the x here, or to differentiate this term, to differentiate y with respect to x, the case is now this. This is now uh, a question on quotient rule differentiation. Quotient rule because I can see terms dividing. For quotient rule, we said you call this u, call this v. So I will say, let u be equal to what we have here, x. Differentiate this, I have that the u over the x is equal to 1. Next up, I'll say let v be equal to what I have here, um, log x plus 1. If I differentiate this, I'll have that the v all over the x is equal to, differentiate log x, you get 1 all over x. Differentiate 1, it's a constant, you get 0, so it's up. So using quotient rule, since this is dividing this, using quotient rule, Using quotient rule, I have that dy all over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv all over dx all over v squared. This is now equal to, let's get v. Uh, v is this log x plus 1. Okay. I think the space there will not contain it. So let me take it off. Um, so it's now equal to, I'm having V. V is this log x plus 1. So log x plus 1. This is V into d over dx is 1 minus u. u here is x into d over dx. d over dx is 1 all over x. All over v squared, v, that's log x plus 1. We said v squared becomes this all squared. So if you have to work on this, if I work on what I have there, um, just take this one off first. Alright, so work on this now. I'll have that. 
This is now, I'll have that. This is equal to, um, this times 1 is itself. So you two log x plus 1 minus x times this gives you x all over x. Because it's x times 1. That's x all over x all over v squared. That's this gives you log x plus 1 all squared. So this is now equal to, this gives you log x plus 1 minus x over x gives you 1 all over, work on this, this gives you log x plus 1 all squared. So 1 minus 1 here, this will cancel this off. So this is now equal to log x all over, this is log x plus 1 all squared. So this is the value of dy over dx for that question.